Howdy y'all, I'm around the wheel, you're watching the Neo Win Mix introduction pack. Uh, last time we ran into some pretty dang advanced, advanced training, but some advanced trainings are not as advanced as others. And I think hopefully that will be the case with the next few levels, including today's first one, Between a Stone and a Hard Place. 20 lemmings, we must save 19 of them. And what does Between a Stone and a Hard Place entail? Another precise one. Oh boy. If you have two lemmings falling close together and the bottom one becomes a stoner, then the other lemming will then be inside the stoner and turn around. The lemmings need to be really close together for this midair turn. Changing the release rate or resorting to floaters to get them closer together can help here. Oh boy, this seems this seems more like taking advantage of a glitch, maybe than being an actual thing that you're intended to do. But I suppose we'll see here. What do we got? We got two climbers. Okay, so they're pretty close together. Um, okay, so we want to go out and do what? Like, go go in this way? But this this wall is... Let's see, how do we, how do we get in here? Alright, so if they go out this way... So to like turn him around and he'll go up in through here. Is that what I'm seeing here? Let's go ahead and uh, all right, let's go ahead and make two of them athletes here. Not sure what side we really need to go up here first, but I think it's gonna be at least, I think we're at least going to go through, probably around up through here and through here to get everybody saved. So, all right, so how does this work? Let's go down and then, all right. Okay, that's not close enough, really. Maybe I need to, hmm. Yeah, they're too, yeah, they're too, they're, they're too far apart from each other for the turnaround to work. So let's, let's hold off before we go athleticizing here. Okay. All right, how close they, that's pretty close. Is that close enough for the thing to work? No, ooh, no, no, that's bad. Okay. Okay, so you go here and then, no, what am I missing here? Okay, so this is, oh, this is, okay. This is already kind of... I don't like this. Okay. This is this is a little bit on the stupid side here. Okay. So go ahead and... Maybe you pop one open and then you pop one open. But now you're too far apart again. What? Okay. Just a second. Just a second. I need to reread the advice. Okay. No, 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 no. Gotta retreat all the way back to the title screen. If you have two lemmings falling close together and the bottom one becomes a stoner, that's the one I'm making a stoner, the other lemming will then be inside the stoner and turn around. The lemmings need to be really close together for this midair turn. Changing the release rate or resorting to floaters to get them closer together can help here. Okay, so I'm going to try the... Okay, so I don't think I was doing it wrong. Okay, so they're pretty close together, yes. Okay. And they're not close enough together here, where it's like two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. No, that was too that was too far. It made the top one the the floater. Okay, so two, three, four, five, six, seven. But when I did this last time, it made the guy splat. And he still fell through. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna go look up how to do this. This is... This is not fun or cool. Okay, so you want to get it so that he's like inside. Yeah, of course. One, two, three, four, five, six. Roughly seven frames. And if I do it so that the athletes... Okay, that's too many frames. Okay, so... All right, let's try this again. We need to make this bottom one a floater, and then we're gonna go 
One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, that's still too many frames. It's gonna help me to know exactly how many frames to do this. Because that's the name of the game in these later Neo Mix ranks. It's counting frames, finding the exact right frame to do something, and basically hunting pixels. And it's becoming increasingly unfun and untrue to the spirit of Lemmings, I would say. One, two, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so there he goes. So there he goes. He's inside the stoner at that point. But, so yeah, there he goes. Alright, and you didn't even have to use a floater if you got it up high enough. So, okay, if you see him climbing inside the guy, you've done it. So basically, a release rate of 99. Let him drop. From the floater click, 5 frames, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, stone. And then, yeah, and then this is simple. I just... I just needed to know exactly how to do it, and I didn't really want to... I didn't really want to sort my way through, like... I guess I just didn't want to do the pixel hunt, is, is what I'm really driving at here. Uh, but from there, yeah. It's just figuring out the exact right time to do it. And I don't really think... I don't really think of that as a very neat trick, per se. I don't think it's impressive or... I mean, it's impressive in the sense that glitches are impressive, but incorporating them into regular gameplay, I think, is a whole other ball of wax. And this is just starting to get kind of ludicrous, I think, in terms of what's being expected. Like, this is, this is almost becoming an entirely different game. Shimichanga. Boy, I could go for a Shimichanga right now. Advanced Training 9, 50 Lemmings. Uh, one of them is already out over here as a walker. Uh, we must save 47 Lemmings. And I see we have a pickup skill over here. Maybe some kind of trap. Maybe a nice little tree. I don't know what. When assigning a Shimmier, you can use the little jump in the air that he does to your advantage. For example, if something like a platformer is being built above the wannabe Shimmier... He might find himself on that platform instead of the floor he started jumping from. This is quite a tight timing, though, of course, because freaking of course it is. But after coming this far, you can handle it for sure. Remember that you can change the release rate. Okay, remember that you can change the release rate. So I'm sure we're going to be doing that. Okay, he might find... Okay, so like you use his little shimmy or jump... Okay, so like the platformer is not being built very far above him, but the shimmy or jump gets him onto the platform. Okay, I think I kind of understand what's being said here. Okay, so yeah, so that's going to be, okay, so we're going to use that here, I think. We're going to start, okay, so now, okay, how many shimmyers? We have 10 shimmyers. Okay. There we... Ah, not quite. Okay, so... So, go in. Okay, that should... Okay, you should be getting onto, like, the platform, I think. I think that's the idea. We don't have any jumpers, so you just need to do a straight-up jump onto it. And that's just straight-up underneath it. Okay. No, not quite there. Okay, but if I go here... Yeah... If I go over there, he's too far underneath it. Okay. So do I need to raise the release rate to like... I'm going to go ahead and raise it to 99 because there's no reason not to do that. Uh, let's see. Okay, so let's try it again. Go from here. Alright. Here come the... Okay. That... Well, no, that... Okay, he's laying down a tile... No, that, like, that just makes him bonk his head. But he's not close enough to get onto it from here. This is... There we go! Okay, yeah, okay. <laughs> Still not the best feeling thing ever. Uh, okay, so what do we want to do now? Okay, so we want to do more or less... 
We have to send more guys, I think. We gotta send... I think we have to send at least one more. So... Okay, he made it onto there. So let's go ahead and try to get one more up. No, that didn't do it. Okay, now it's getting just hard to see. No. That's... I'm using the walker anyway. What am I doing? Okay. Okay, that didn't quite pan out. Okay. So he's going up in the air there. Okay. And then maybe this one. No, that just made him bonk his head. Oh, yikes. This is... This is really turning into something yucky. Yeah, that's not nearly close enough. Okay, so let's just let it go. Okay. Okay, so if he goes there, that's still not close enough. One, two. I think he'll just hit his head if I do it there. Yeah. So that's not... This is, yeah, it is precise. It does say that it's precise, but it doesn't say whether it's fun or not. And I'm going to go ahead and declare, no, it really isn't. Uh, not having a lot of fun today so far. Finally got it, though. Holy freaking crap. About time. Okay, so one of you is going to be a glider, and one of you is going to be a floater. Just to kind of put some distance between you, I think. Um, well, what's going on here, really? We got the spikes here. We got the shimmying going on. I think they're gonna... Will they walk up through that? That's a... That's a great question, actually. Alright, so... Alright, so you go there. Alright. And I don't think he's going to... He's gonna just fall right into the spikes, right? Oh, no. No, okay. Alright, cool. Okay, so they walk up through there. And along through all that, that's wonderful. So we're coming up on steel now. Okay, so how are they going to get... Okay. Oh, I probably needed to do this at least four times to get, get a guy in there. Okay, yeah, there's going to be a lot more than just two shimmiers coming. So yeah, I need to successfully pull this off four times. Oh my jeez. Okay, fine. Alright, so we've got the idea, more or less. It's just... Okay, I'm... Okay, you'll see me be right back, probably. Let's see. Let's get as far out as here. Yeah, there may be some editing between me actually getting this right and... Okay. There's one. There's two. Oh my gosh, I may actually be getting the hang of this. I can't... Can't believe it. Okay, we've got four up here. So, what we want to do is go... I'm going to let one... Okay, yeah, because we need three bombers to get through here. That's our three deaths. And one, this back one here, is going to go on beyond. So, let's go ahead and... Let's just alternate. Let's just alternate. Don't think it really makes a difference. Okay, because either way, they're all going to shimmy up the way here. There we go. Okay. So, and three. And four. That should be plenty good for that. Okay, so now, having done that, let's just bop through here. This is one time when I'm really glad for untimed bombers, let me tell you. Okay, and then we'll go up onto here, shimmy. That's going to give us the climber that we need for literally right there. And one more shimmier to get over onto this. There we go. And then we bash through, and that's the level. Uh, we could use the walker, but I don't think that's strictly necessary. I don't think he's going to climb up over that. So, it's just a matter... Well, no, okay, he, it doesn't make him turn around anyway, so no point in doing it. So, yeah, we'll just let the climber go in last. 
because there's no reason. I don't think he'll climb up over that, although he might. No, he doesn't. I didn't think he would. Okay. So that's that level. That one is down, and that is uh, quite the little trick. So I bet the next level is going to be a combination of those two things, and we might as well go ahead and do that level. I think the next level is going to be a review of the... Uh, of the couple of skills we just learned, which means hopefully it's not too frustrating a level. It's just knowing the right places to pull those things off. That's going to be the detour. 40 lemmings must save 39. And where are we going to be detouring through? I guess we'll find out. See, we've got this little drop right here. I imagine we're going to be making it happen uh, that way. So let's... The shimmier jump can... Oh, okay, so more more training. The shimmier jump can also be used to gain a little bit of extra height for a glider. Try it out, but remember... You will need to remember a few more tricks than that to beat this level. Uh, yep, stoner, right there. Okay, so... Alright, so the glider... Okay, so what are we going to be doing here? We've got... We've got the stoner. Not really... Hmm... Okay, so we got two climbers again, and we got the stoner thing happening. So, all right, I bet maybe we'll shimmy. Okay, let's just let's just play it out by ear for now. Uh, <laughs> let's uh, well, 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 back into the door real quick. We're gonna do a ninety-nine release rate because there's no reason not to, and it's gonna help us with our with our stoner trick here. So we're gonna do that just as a little bit of reviewsies. There we go. Okay, so now, if I remember my frame count correctly, it is five frames. So, um, well, we don't have the benefit of doing that this time. So maybe, maybe we're going to slow our guy down by doing a little hop. Well, no, that just puts him behind his friend there. Okay, so... All right, okay. How are we going to do this without a floater to slow it down? Okay. Huh. Okay, well, maybe what we can do is... Okay, we're going to go back to the beginning. I think we may have a walker for this reason. That may be what puts... Okay. All right. Okay, that doesn't really help. All right, so we're going to put... Hmm, how is that going to put him super close to his friend there? Okay, so we got this happening. All right, they've got to be pretty close to each other. Doop, doop. Okay, that puts two of them really close to each other. I think we've got two of them. Oh, yeah, they're really close. Okay, those guys are tight, so hopefully that's it. But no, it's not enough to turn them around, actually. So... Without a floater to do this, there's some other way we're going to have to figure this out. And I don't know if... Hmm. Okay, let's go back. I don't want to use that walker just yet. I feel like maybe... I feel like maybe shimming might be better. We're going to be mining here to get everybody to the end. So... Let's see. And what was even the original advice about the shimmer? That you can use it to get extra distance on a glider? Huh. Uh, I don't really know what's... Okay. Hmm. Well... But you have to make the bottom one a stoner. So you would have to make the top one a glider. So that he... Hmm. Okay, so let's go ahead and pump that release rate again. Maybe if we make the top one a glider, he'll fall enough to... 
What's the trick here? Okay, so go up. Alright. Alright. Gonna go ahead and make you a stoner. Well, I don't have to do that at all, really. Okay. Oh. No, I'm an idiot. Oh my gosh. Okay, so... Okay, yeah. You just put the stoner here. And then he just walks in the other direction. Okay, yeah. Okay, so there's nothing that complicated to it there. Okay, that was just that was just kind of silly. Okay, so if I glide here. Okay, no. Okay. This okay, this must be where that bit is used. So you go ahead and jump. And that will give us well, <laughs> you would think, but clearly not. Uh so All right, one it yeah 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 well, that doesn't really do a lot for you. Huh. Because he just dips right into the... He just dips right into the lake before he even pulls out his paraglider. So... Alright. So, should I make him a glider before doing that? Yes! Okay, alright. So, that... Okay. That's how that works. And then, okay, I think it's going to be pretty self-explanatory from here. We're going to shimmy our way over... And then, well, no, 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 no. Well, sort. Okay, yes, yes. We can still do this because we're gonna have to. We're gonna have to mine in a very specific place. You would think you would have to mine from like here to here, but you really want to mine in a way. I can see it so that a hole kind of opens up right here, and the climber ends his tunnel. Okay, yeah. Without going up over this side. Okay. All right, everything is still everything is still saved. Everything is still salvageable. Everything is still good. It's just a little airborne. It's still good. It's still good. There we go. All right. Uh, although now I have no way of making him drop off the thing here. Uh, although, no. If he just straight up fell, he would glide to. No. Yeah. So he's just going to go straight over to here. Yeah, I have no way of making him fall off now. So this must maybe need to be different. Okay, I'm going to need to do a bit of experimenting real quick. We're going to come back to the beginning of the level. Does making a shimmy or a walker make him fall off the ceiling? Yes, it does. Okay, so I need to save that walker. So I did this part wrong. And I'm going to have to figure out how to do that part then. Okay, so... The, okay, yeah. So there it is. So that turns... Okay, so... You just pump up the release rate. You make one a climber up here so that he gets close enough to another one to... Okay, all right. Uh, that doesn't... That didn't feel great, but it worked. So time to go on and do the rest of the level like normal. All right, we're going to release you right here, okay? Which means we need to cut through... Yeah, in a way like that. So that there's a little hole at the corner here that they could drop into... But the climber still turns around. So there we go. Let's go ahead and do it up like that. Yeah, they all go in and then the climber saves himself. Very good. So that's the detour. Very nice. Okay. And they all... That's all good drop heights and stuff. Very good. Very well done. So we made it. Oh, 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 oh. That's... That's a prop. No. Okay. Oh, God. Oh, thank God. I forgot he was a glider for a second there. That really, uh... That made my heart jump up into my throat. So there we go. Yeah, knocked out three more levels today. Very good. I'm starting to formulate an overall opinion on this pack. I think that is starting to come into shape. But I'm not going to say anything just yet. I'm going to save any thoughts like that for the very end. Uh, but I can kind of... 
I can kind of feel something, uh, a small lump codifying in the, in the pit of my stomach, a little hard ball of opinion. And yeah, I can definitely, I can definitely feel that coming into being its essence taking shape. I can really start to feel that. Uh, so I'll see you guys next time for more, for more highly advanced, rigorous, pixel-based training.